Okay, now that we're up to speed here, you can obviously see the, the wind is on. It's, it's the, that line there is well painted. So this is a smoke flow. Um, and basically all it does is track where the, where the wind goes. So we can take a look at the flow over the vehicle and you can see how that, that flow just curls, sticks to the vehicle like glue, goes right off the back where it's supposed to. There's no big turbulence behind the rear glass, that sort of thing. Um, you can see if I had those grill shutters open a lot more, this flow would be just sucking through the front. But, and then the flow under the vehicle is also smoothly directed under the, flow, under the vehicle. The flow around the side of the vehicle, again, the control over those surfaces means it goes nicely past and it really hugs the back of the vehicle. That's important to us to reduce that wake in the back of the vehicle. Mirrors also, flow goes smoothly past the mirrors and the sides of the vehicle. I mentioned those turbulent zones. You can see one behind the mirror there. You can see that turbulent flow behind the mirror. On your way home today, stick your hand out behind your mirror and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But you can see how nice and crisp it is off the edges of these mirrors. That's important to us. Again, the flow off the back of the vehicle. You can see how that separation zone is just pinned right to that back right there. That's on purpose. Same thing down at the bottom. But again, the point of the operation is make sure that that flow goes nice and smooth, doesn't get all torn up, less drag, better fuel economy.